Okay guys, so welcome to this really brief tutorial on how to submit your homework. Uh, before we start with the tutorial, uh, I just want to make cl uh, clear that, that you should be trying to learn Git by your own. So I put two videos on the website. Make sure you go and check it out those videos. It's about 20 minutes in videos uh, because this tutorial assumes that you so somehow know how to use the basics of Git. So before we start, let's take one minute to finish the development setup that we started on the previous tutorial. That was in how to uh, how to um, install a C++ development wor uh, workflow in your machine. So for that, uh, you're going to go into your GitLab account. So make sure you already have the account. And then we will add SSH keys to make our life easier. So basically on the GitLab server, we will have repositories and you need access to these repositories if you want to work with the local machine. So you have basically two options. One is like every time you fetch information from the repository, provide your username and password, but this is super annoying. So what you, we are going to do is to add our, some keys that we will generate and put it on the server. And this way with this particular machine, you can just access the repository uh, without providing any more information. So first of all, you will go to the must have tools and then there is a small brief on SSH keys, but basically you will copy this command. Oh, sorry. You will open a terminal here and here you will put your email, for example, modern cpp at ipv uni Bond.de. And then you just hit enter, enter, enter three times, and then you already generated a key. And now you want to, you need to get this key and put it on the GitLab server. So basically, you need to copy this command. So xclip, it's not probably installed on your system. So sudo apt install xclip. If it doesn't work, then just paste it. And then now on my clipboard, I have the key. So that's step number two. And then you will go to your profile settings, SSH keys, and then this is how it will look on your machine, just control B. And then this is the key that to access uh, the GitLab server from this particular machine. So that's basically it uh, in terms of like how to access the GitLab servers uh, from your computer. Okay, so now let's start with the tutorial. First, you need to log in into the server and then you will have to request access to the CPP 2020 group. Then you will go to the base homework repository that is the CPP homeworks and then you will fork this repository on your personal space. What, it, what is this means? It's basically that you will copy paste the entire information of this particular repository that is basically it's an empty repository with just the, some folders and then you will own this repository. This means you can do whatever you want with this repository, but also you inherit by default all the configurations for the automatic homework checker. So let's click on the link. And then this is the, let's try to make this bigger. Okay, so this is the base um, repository. So if you see it's on teaching CPP homeworks. So if you try to push to this repository, if you try to change this, it would fail because you don't have permissions. So that's why you want to fork. So you just hit fork here and then you select your, your name here. Now this is basically copy pasting the entire repository into your own space. If you check now, now it's more C++ student and then CPP homeworks. And if you check the address of this page, it's different from before. So now you own this repository, it's different from the one you just fork, uh, and then you can make changes here. So once you have done that, uh, okay, so here's basically what we say. The last step you need to do is basically to, in order to enable this homework checker, you need to go to settings, members, select members to invite, and then pick the homework bot and give him access uh, with developer rights. This is because this bot will access your repository and check the homework for you and update a wiki uh, showing the results. So let's do this. It's quite simple. You just go here on this tab, you go to settings, and then you go to members, 
Remember, this is your repository. So this, you can do whatever you want. Just type here, homework bot. Just click and then remember to do developer access, right? And then invite. From the setup perspective, that's all you need to do. Um, basically, first you set up the SSH keys to access your repositories without hassle. And then you fork the CPP homeworks repository and then you give access to the homework bot, right? And then let's try to make an example here. So how you start working, the first thing you do, you will clone using SSH because that's the keys you are using. And then let's open a terminal here. And then sh now you just hit do git clone and then you paste the others that you just copy from the web page, right? This will basically download the, the whole information from CPP Homeworks repository and put it on this folder that is called CPP Homeworks. CPP Homeworks, right? So this is your first uh, clean environment. So if you just run tree, there is a command. This is all the files you have here. It's basically nothing, it's empty. So the, things, the first thing you will do is you will go to homework number one. And then now you need the files that we provided you on the, um, on the website. For that, you can do IPv, C++, 2020, bon, I don't know. Uh, and this is our web page. You will hope to Homeworks. And then you will download this file. And then you save this file. It's going to be in, in downloads unless you change something. So now nothing is here. Let's copy this file um, homework1.zip. And then you just copy this file on this directory. Now it's here. And then you do unzip and then homework1zip. That's all you need to do for now. I will just remove this zip just in case. And this is how it looks now. So if you hit three now, you have like some examples here. So on task one, uh, here you need to provide uh, commands.sh folder, uh, sorry, a script with all the, like solving the task. Just to make it like, um, to make it, to show you how it would look, I will just copy one, uh, one of the solutions. So uh, not here. Uh, homeworks, homework one, task one, and then commands.sh. So for now, this is all you need. And actually, if you go to your root directory, that is CPP homework, and now you do git status, you will see that there are two new um, folders. So you just will do git add, and you can just select this and copy on the terminal and then you will add this to the staging uh, part of the git of the repository now if you do git status you have all this stuff and then you just will do git commit right the thing is probably at this point it will complain but basically you will need to provide these two configurations so in my case let's let me check ah yeah I, you will need to use the same email address you use for logging into the IGG GitLab account. So in my case, it's gonna be Ignacio, it's this guy. And then also you need to provide your username. In my case will be modern C++ student, right? And now, you can co actually commit these changes. So let's add a message to this commit. And in this case will be uh, upload uh, task one for the uh, homework one, something like this, right? And then if you do git status right now, you will see that your branch is ahead of the origin that is basically the git repository in the GitLab server. And then you need to git push. And this will basically copy the contents of your repository to the upstream, that is the IGG server. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really explain you the details of Git, but I trust you can learn it by yourself. Now, if I go, go to my CPP Homeworks repository, so make sure that 
Now you will see two repositories. One is the one for teaching, and this is your repository. So this is the one you own. And if you see more C++, C++ student, just committed this thing. And now the pipeline is running. So you need to, if you want to check here, now this already passed. And now you will need to wait, like let's say two or three minutes until the bot. So now there is a background process that is checking your homework and then it will update here on your repository on the wiki with the results hopefully this works otherwise my solution is wrong in the meantime let's do another thing that is okay let's git add and then add the homework number two with the solution so homework number two task two uh, Do I have solutions here? No. Okay, this is not the solution. That's good. Ah, because I didn't copy the solution. Okay, so this is the, the files I provided to you without any solution. So one thing you can do is copy your solutions. So actually the, the only files you will need here, in my case are here, and then homeworks homework one task two and then build.sh so you need to provide this build script right here that basically this will build uh, this project the only thing is like make sure that you run these commands i will do this so you don't see the output with the commands and then basically make sure you you know that it is working right now if you check the tree i have the this binary file uh, that is the one I just created. So you can go to results, bin directory. So this is the example output I gave to you. So there is a warning, this is a demo version, and then this is the one that we just built with this command, right? So, and if you do git status now, the only missing file that you need to add is this script. So you just git add dot and then you will if you do git status, then everything is here. This is the first part of the exercise. And now I need to ba -ba -ba -ba, copy this CMake list file again on this repository. And in my case, I also have one here. Okay, so if you do git status right now, you have new files, just add these files. Now everything is ready to commit. And then you just git commit and then uh, homework uh, submit homework no, task two for homework one, right? And then you can actually git push. But before we push, let's go and check the results of the first exercise. So let's see if this is working. If apparently is working so this is the first results so i gave you four exercise it's like one point for each one and then for now the total points i have for the whole course is basically four and now let's git push this with the uh, solution for the um, for the second exercise on the first homework and now the whole pipeline is running the only thing is just make sure that everything is working. So for example, if you are working on this image, just go do the steps manually here before you submit the homework. Now you do CMake here and then you check that your CMake list is working and then you make and then you check the results on all this stuff like make install as well. So make sure that everything is working locally before you submit the homework. Otherwise you will struggle like between going to check if the bot is working or not, or if the wiki is not working. So that's basically it. I went a bit fast because there's not too much to talk about this. The only thing is like make sure, make sure that uh, this file is called build.sh uh, without any typo because I'm checking for that file. The same for CMake list. And then on the results directory, I will be checking for this particular binary. So make sure you use this name so test underscore IPV arithmetic and on the library use this name for your library lib IPV arithmetic right so let's see if the results for 
task number two already and yes actually it's really fast and then the second task is the build system so so i will check that you can build the program uh, also that the library is there and then also i will check for cmake that you can install your library with the prefix that uh, i'm telling you to use and also that the cmake thing is working so that's basically it so make sure you you start working on your homeworks make sure that everything is working locally before you start submitting homeworks and if you struggle a lot a lot with git and you're like more than five people then we can discuss on making a a small tutorial on git but it's quite easy so I, i'm guessing that you will you will you will figure out how how it will work okay thank you for your attention i looking forward to see your submissions and remember that i will be doing code reviews uh, to give you more points for your homeworks because this is just to make so these results are just to make to give you a feedback of if the programs are working or not but i also want to check your code style and give you positive feedback about your homeworks okay that's basically it. thank you